Hey guys, Lucas Wald here, coming to you from a new studio, new glasses, new look all together. Um, I want to share with you all an interesting story, interesting experience I just had with former World Long Drive champion Jeff Flagg. Um, a little context on, on Jeff, he came to me this year about one month before the championship, the World Long Drive Championship, um, with a bit of a problem. His speed numbers had dropped dramatically. He was maxing out on day one about 130 miles per hour 195 ball speed and that's fast but not fast enough to really um, go to the championship with much confidence um, or success um, so we went to work we uh, were obviously under a time crunch and the goal of this video is for me to share and give you guys some you know inside an inside look at what Jeff and I did to on at the end of that month training, he was around 210 ball speed. He was maxing out at upper 130s club head speed. Um, he went to the championship. Uh, he, he narrowly missed getting to the TV coverage uh, in, the, in the singles division. And then the team competition, he and Sandra Carlberg won. Jeff hit 208 ball speed um, under the lights. It was really fun to see. He hit the second longest drive of the night at 425 yards. So um, guys, take the information, take the drills that I'm gonna show in this video, apply this stuff to your own swing, um, and you guys might not hit 210 ball speed, but you will definitely go up with speed and power, and ultimately the game can be a lot more enjoyable and fun. Let's take a look at the big issues that we saw in Jeff's swing, and then talk through uh, what specifically we did to fix those issues. Number one, Jeff's backswing. It was not completed. He had a, a, a slow move off the ball. He didn't complete the turn. His left knee was not behind the ball. His left heel stayed on the ground. So basically, we had to figure out how to get him moving faster off the ball on the backswing. We used some resistance tools to get him to more explode off the ball. And then we, we had to be meticulous about the way we used our hips and legs to create more coil, more shoulder turn, a longer backswing. So that was a little bit of a process. So we, we did that on the backswing. We started off slowly. We built speed incrementally. And number two, Jeff had too much lateral motion. And let me emphasize, guys, most of the students that I see have too much lateral motion. In Jeff's case, he's no different. He would go to the top of the backswing, and slide left. His left hip would be over the left foot. What did we do? We went to work. We used the dance move. If you guys have watched my dance move video on YouTube um, and on the website, I show how you, we go up and then we land with the left hip inside the foot. So we did that really slowly time after time after time again. Uh, we also were very, very meticulous with our slow motion reps. We used mirrors. We looked face on and down the line, making sure that we were very precise in the way we moved our bodies all the way to impact and post impact. So again, backswing, more explosive off the ball, full complete turn, less lateral movement on the downswing, which ultimately led to what? More rotation and impact. Um, with those things in place, Jeff went up dramatically in one month's time. So guys, take this blueprint, use it as a roadmap. Watch Jeff go through the cycle of these movement pattern changes, employ them, use them, take them, mold yourself to look like the best players of all time. That's what we did. You can do it too.